fun. We're having. I'm going to talk about very sure. anecdotal fun things as well. I'm not going to, you know, be in any way kind of academic. Okay, this is another question. I'm changing gears. Oh, okay. In my memory, to, to a lower gear or a higher gear? Lower gear. Okay, that's all right. Lower gear. Is that okay? Yes, it's fine. It's okay. Um, I think I remember on the museum's website. It talked, now we're leaving the Biennale. Mm -hmm. We're leaving the talk tomorrow. I, I remember that there was this relationship between the Oxford group and the museum. If I understood it correctly, and my memory is not very clear right now, that you have some type of video studio here or some kind of opportunity here with your group and the museum to be doing interviews or... Um, what 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 did I read that's making me? I'm not sure. Um, no, May, I, maybe I, what I should I'm ask not you. Aware of this. Okay, then that must um, be my mistake. Well, the um, well, I think that the, the, it's you know there's a very um, simple relationship. Uh, the museum hosts the society, uh, the Oxford Society. So the you know the museum offers all of its uh, facilities to, okay. the, to the society, and and the society comes and it takes part in the events. Okay, so, this is probably, this is, you're talking, this yeah, is what I meant so, to say. So, that's so when, what happens. when you say the museum hosts the group, yeah. when these people, even if they are not part of the Tuscany alumni group, but they're alumni from around the world, and they were to contact you, mm -hmm. um, and you host events, does that mean that if they want to have meetings or if they want to get together, this is a place where they could take advantage of doing that? Uh, yes, I'm sure we can arrange something. Yes, when the museum is open. Uh, yes, but, I mean it says on the website that they're welcome to contact me. Okay. So um, and what uh, when you say that you have this relationship? Give tell me then, since I have a misunderstanding of what I remember, but that's my memory. It's not the first time. What are the different components of the relationship? What have you done in the past together? Your judges at the Biennale. Yep. What else? Um, well. Um, during these big events, the museum organizes a lot, quite a few um, impressive events, which are also rather fun. So, um, so we we take opportunities to take part, and uh, and it makes a lot of sense, you know, because Absolutely. because organizing events isn't isn't an easy thing, and um, so these these events already exist in the museum, and and all the alumni who come to the events, all the members of the society who come, they all they all say the same thing. It's really wonderful for them to be able to take part, and in particular. Uh, they love they love the fact that they have, that they can be judges and that they can go around the museum because it gives us something to do. You know, <laughs> well, we're, we're not just coming mm -hmm. here. We're not just talking about you know. We're not just having a conference and having a nice dinner. We're also actively doing something together. Okay, so which, what which, I which is great and and they will enjoy it and it also gives the society certain prestige. Um, Absolutely. So yes, no, it's it's something that you know that everybody enjoys. Um, the um, and now also tomorrow, tomorrow evening and the day, the morning after, they're going to be going around the Biennale. They're going to be um, looking at the paintings. Uh, this is something they all enjoy very much. So, so okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a perfect relationship. It's very much a symbiosis. <laughs> okay. What I, okay, to repeat that back, what I think I hear uh, is the museum has numerous events throughout the course of a, a year. And when yes, the yes. museum has different exhibitions or different events the Oxford alumni group is always invited to come in and to be part of it. And if there's jurying or an opportunity for speaking, they're always given an opportunity to express themselves and continue that, that Oxford uh, avant-garde uh, behavior, compartimento. Well, they, yes. They, yes. It, because in, in reality, if we go all the way back in time, those this uh, pre raphaelites group um, were coming together, remaining together years after they had graduated, and were actually trying to make a difference, to make a mark on the art world. And with society being the way it is now, your uh, relationship with the museum and the Oxford alumni is giving the Oxford alumni an opportunity to continue to have a say mm -hmm. in that. I mean, you probably yes, haven't yes, thought yes. of it that way. Right, yeah. But it's, you know, we have a new generation. We've got new technology. You know, we're not back with candles and fireplaces. Oh, no, but we do love candles and fireplaces. You do love candles. <laughs> <laughs> I heard we were going to have a marshmallow toast. 
Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> s'mores. Uh, do you know what s'mores are? No. Graham crackers mm. with a thin bar of chocolate. You put marshmallows. You know marshmallows? Yes. Okay, on a stick. Mm-hmm. You roast the marshmallows, and then you put them inside the graham crackers with the chocolate. Okay, right. And, you know, I thought, you know, we'd maybe do a sing-along and uh, roast marshmallows. Okay, well, that sounds nice. And, well, fireplaces in Oxford normally have a more decorative role, but oh. that sounds fun, too. <laughs> we'll put a little bit of American in there. Okay, let's see where we're at again for the time. Ah, we're at five minutes. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Um, anything else? You tell me what you're going to do leading up to me. After I speak, who's taking off, taking over next, and where is the conversation Well, well I'll, I'll, I'll take over again. And I'll come up with some kind of conclusion. Um, so to be honest, I'm still trying to put together a structure. And there are... Um, so there are three... I see so some there, conclusions. Yeah, so there are three areas that I wanted to cover. There was... Uh, actually, perhaps even four. So there was brief production to Oxford, number one. Okay, go ahead and write down. Oxford, one. And then number two was... I was thinking of number two, putting Italian influence. So... Italian influence. So all these funny ideas. So I'll be talking about a little bit about neoclassical architecture, about, for example, the regatta. The regatta is another thing that came from Venice that someone saw on the Grand Tour, and now, you know, the regatta in Oxford is a very big thing. That's the boat races. Yes, regatta. regatta. Okay, yeah. you were saying it, it's so funny where we speak the same language, but the accent, I'm the regatta. I'm thinking of regatta. regatta. La regatta, yeah. La so, regatta. La sí. regatta. So, let me, so I'm just going to talk about these. There's some really fun things that go on in Oxford that, we, that a lot of people don't realize, you know, have come uh, through, I think he's through an the architect, Grand architect, Tour. Architect. Yeah, that, that'll all come in here. Okay. And of course, this leads on perfectly to the pre Raphaelites. Because How? the pre Raphaelites mm-hmm. are a strong Italian artistic influence. Okay, I was so, going to ask you with this. Yeah. The other thing that comes to my mind is how, and you decide whether it's before or after, Mm -hmm. how, it would have to be after actually, how it might have influenced the way they lived, dressed, and the the way, how did their life change after doing this whole experience? Uh, How did it not only just change what they believed about art, but maybe change their lifestyles? Um, Don't you think? That after they came back from the Grand Tour... So this is, you mean the, the pre-Raphaelites? Well, yeah, but well, yeah, the, okay. okay. And the pre-Raphaelites would have happened after they did their grand tour. So maybe yeah. it's you know I'm just thinking yes. like I was really surprised to see some of these guys wearing these funky, funky outfits. Yeah. You so know? actually, from what you're saying, it might be more fun to have a brief introduction to Oxford, then grand tour. Yes. Then pre- yes. Then pre-Raphaelites. Yes, because this is the then, result. The, the pre-Raphaelites was. The response to the Grand Tour. Yeah. Okay. So what could be fun then would be Oxford, brief introduction, then a brief introduction, well, Grand Tour. Tour. Explain and, that. Okay. And the Grand Tour is, let's say, the method by which a lot of these influences came. So then you go into the pre Raphaelites. Yes. And then I could conclude with some other fun Italian influences so we could move that Italian well, influence. Well, what I'm also four. thinking is after the pre Raphaelites. Yeah. We obviously went to other art movements. Mm hmm. But how did the legacy of the pre-Raphaelites continue to remain an influence? Right, okay. And then that would bring you to where you are now. That the current version of the pre-Raphaelites mm-hmm. are these alumni finding alternative ways to participate globally and have these working relationships. So, so even this relationship here with the museum oh, right, yes, yes, is yes. the modern-day version mm. of the legacy of the pre-Raphaelites. Uh, yes. Do you understand that? I, you know what? I think that's something we can briefly mention. Yeah. Come si deve essere? Possiamo chiudere? Ciao, bella. Vieni qui un secondo. Vieni qui. Vieni qui. I think that's something we could briefly mention. Okay. Yeah. Come over here. Get over here. What is your name, sweetheart? Come ti chiami? Claudia Tarek. And what is your position, Claudia? My position? Oh my goodness, I'm standing. What do you do? No, perché che state facendo? What do you do here at the museum? Cosa fai? Sì, si, ho capito. Ah, è una domanda. Cosa fai? Non è l'intervista, è io. No, non è il mamma. Vabbè, vabbè. No, 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 adesso. Just tell me what's your title. Titolo. Titolo? Yeah, aiutami, senza occhiali io non vedo nulla. European Confederation on Art Critics. You're, what is this? 
You're okay. Oh, oh, I, I just learned something. I had no idea she was part uh-huh. of the the. Uh, oh, here I forgot it already. The European the Federation. Federation. See, my, we're, we're going to close it now. But you met one of the key people of the museum. Oh, 